how's it going folks? It's your boy Pixel Machine here, coming back at you with some more The Legend of Zelda. The Tears of the Kingdom. I hope that you are all having a great day out there. And let's get back into this. So, we are currently stood outside at the Temple of Time. And let's waste no more time. <laughs> let's actually explore the thing. Again, hope you're all having a great day out there. Really enjoying this game so far. It's super chill. Really relaxed. Not a bad thing though. Oh, appears to be locked. All right. How are arms reacting, though? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Ah. I am Raru. Raru, hello! Source of the right arm. A bit weird. <laughs> Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Ah, that's what that is. We were trying to do something with that in the last video. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. And he's gone. <laughs> right, so that's Raru. We actually have his right arm. <laughs> but it looks like it needs a little recharge. So, let's open the adventure log. The closed door. Raru. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Raru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island's shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. Cool. Obviously very similar to Breath of the Wild. So let's venture back over there. Can we get down here? I don't think we can. Don't want any broken ankles today. All right. Ah, oh, not so bad. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to do that. So yeah, a really chill start to the game. But I am enjoying it. So we're going to have to climb here. Oh, I didn't notice that yesterday. We actually have a clock now. Was the one before? I don't think so. So it's currently 5.40. So the sun should be setting. Yeah, pretty nice sunset. And the minutes seem to be going up in increments of five. Yeah, so now it's six o'clock. Then it should go to 6.05. Yep, there we go. Cool, so here we go. The shrine is finally open for business. <laughs> cool. Hey, up. 
at a loading screen. Seems so weird. The advantage of solid state memory. Or a cartridge, basically. Well, so you didn't need to load. That's what it was like on the N64 oh. anyway. So you've made it here. I certainly have. Ah, oh, nice. Cool, the Ultra Hand. Nice. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Oh, cool. So this is what we use to build stuff, I guess. Nice. It's not quite the Nintendo Power Glove. <laughs> mm. This is the Ultra Hand ability. Mm. Awesome. Bring in a Bit of Fortnite into the Zelda universe. <laughs> right, so usability activates the ability in your right hand. And ironically, we use the left bumper. <laughs> oh, look at this. Pretty cool. Don't think we need to use it just yet, though. Let's head over here. So I'm guessing we pick this up. Grab. Awesome. Oh, this is pretty cool. We should be able to make a bridge to the other side. So I'll just cancel that now. There we go. Cool. I love the little Zelda jingles. Especially that one. So it lets you know you've done something decent. Like you've completed a puzzle or something, or you've found something. Right, so let's get this one. Hang on. Before we do that, I'm guessing this is a larger gap. Yes, it is. So let's get you primed right here. Pick you up. Should be able to attach. So how do we rotate this? Ah, use R. Then we use the directional pad. Let's flatten you out. go. And then how do I attach? Shining red for some reason. Let's uh, just drop you on the floor for now. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, I can uh, attach this one. Oh, it's got like some weird goo. Alright. That'll be good enough. I think it kind of straightens it up for you anyway. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Like a plasticine or something. <laughs> so we should be able to grab the entire thing now. And then this should form the new bridge. There we go. Should get the nice little jingle again. <laughs> uh, I already see what we need to do here. Saw that little, like, gondola. There we go. Type thing go past. Might not be a gondola, but whatever. So let's get you first. And then we need to flatten you out. Pop you just right about here. Then we need you. Put you in the middle. There we go. Now, should be able to attach it to this railing. 
And then we get on this. We get across the gap there. Let me just check. I don't think there's any items, is there? There we go. Jump aboard. There we go. <laughs> That's so cool. I love Nintendo. When it comes to gameplay. They really do make cool games. Right. This appears to be it. Light of Blessing, we've got one of those now. A crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Lovely. Thanks for that. <laughs> cool. I think we just exit straight away, don't we? Making a campfire. And it's now night time. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Okay. Hmm. Right, so... Push the right stick in. Right, at least we're not fighting with the motion controls now. <laughs> we just need to find a shrine. And there's one right there. How convenient. Don't know how I missed it first time around. It's a bit erratic, I must say. Could be this lovely, cheap as hell third party controller, though. <laughs> Any others? There's one. Not sure if we're going to be able to get over there. Oh, look at that. That's the Temple of Time, I believe. <laughs> Bit up close and personal. Right, yeah. We've got those two for now. We'll find the third one later. Seems to be a storm of brewing over there. Again, as I said last time, this game certainly isn't boring. But this music just lulls me to sleep. <laughs> it's so chill and relaxed. Wish we had like a glide ability. So now, I'm guessing, we've got the tools over there, which I can see we do, to get down that railing now. I was thinking about just, you know, trying to balance it in the last vid. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> so it's now... Nearly 2 a.m. In the game, that is. I 
Don't know what time sunrise is in the land of Hyrule. If I had one complaint, I would like Link to run just a little faster. <laughs> That's about it. All I can think of at the moment. I'm not really going to complain much about the graphics and stuff like that because it's a Nintendo Switch. So, you can't expect too much. But it still looks pretty cool. I really like the colours they've used for the sky. Like now. Like kind of the... Yeah, kind of like that greeny hue over there. Going up towards the more bluish grey black. Really nice. Um, maybe we'll attach it to this one. No, <laughs> not to that one below. Right, hang on. Can unstick with the right stick. Ah, but that's unstuck everything. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> this is so cool. Pissed me a campfire over there. Thanks for the ride, and I think we've got some enemies also. Or maybe not. We've got a stone axe. I think we've used you, haven't we? There we go. Got to hold it. Wood cutting. Go on then. Let's give it a go. Get some rest, bud. Ah, so we can uh, take some wood. Feel a bit harsh. Works all day and night for that. So wood, a portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. So let's give this a go. we get from that acorn often found on the ground near trees squirrels adore this nut so you may have competition while foraging <laughs> add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning so we've got a leaf or korok frond a mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick 
and it can be used as a fan. All right. Woke him up. <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. Right. Is this Karu? Oh, Raru, sorry. More wood. Oh. Zone I charge. We picked up one of those before. Well, it's got some arrows. It's now 6 20 in the morning. The sun has come up. Beautiful blue day. Nice and sunny. I wonder if we'll have rainy days and stuff like that, even days when it might snow. I doubt we'll go through the seasons. But who knows? Got another axe here. Might as well, uh, actually. Might as well use it. Nothing? Can we further cut these? Yeah, we can. Okay. So the bell has just rung, so our little friend here. Should be getting up for work now. There he is. I'm sorry to say, mate. I've done all the work for you. <laughs> Let's see if he says something. Was this your wood cutting at work? <laughs> it was nothing. Such modesty. <laughs> it's cool that they put that in there. Does this axe not wear out then? Guessing if you just use it for wood cutting, then it's okay, but if you use it against enemies or other materials, then maybe it'll start to wear out. Still, I'll pick this one up just in case. Should be able to climb up that. Let's try jumping first. Huh? No. <laughs> There's nothing down here, is there? Huh? Whoa. Hang on. Let's just drop a sec. Doesn't jump very far, does he? There we go. Bit better that time. Oh, what's this? Can we grab this, do you think? <laughs> Certainly can. Oh, 
Now can I climb on this? Cool, that's awesome. Get this apple first. At least few apples. Now it's got a chest. Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Right, nothing else. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to keep looking out for stuff like this then. I believe there were some other areas back over there where we originally started. Which were inaccessible due to there being, you know, a gap and stuff. So I'll have to go back and explore. Let's go up here. So let's go over to. Ooh, got a froggy. Hot footed frog, a quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. Ah, it's over here. Cooking, right. Let's learn how to cook. <laughs> Educate me. Ah, oh, so you've got to throw them into the pot, okay. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. Cool, let's try and cook something. We can also sit around the fire as well. So we've got some uh, tasty meat here. Let's hold this. Ah. Press the wrong button. Still not used to this switch layout. Um, I don't want to hold that. So now we can cook this. Meat skewer. Oh, cool. A juicy filling snack made by grilling small chunks of meat on a skewer. That gives us two hearts. Awesome. You can pass time by the fire. 
sit by the fire until morning, noon, night. Never mind. Let's just do it for the sake of doing it, I guess. Let's go to noon. It's kind of noon now already, I guess. Is it going to take us to the next day's noon? <laughs> yeah, 12 o'clock. <laughs> Let's uh, try night to actually see a proper change. Awesome. So he's asleep now. We might as well cook some more stuff. Because obviously it increases the health regen benefits. I just really want to know how I can equip this stuff. So let's go on this. I'm pressing A. Nothing. I let go. Nothing. X just drops it. It's weird. There must be something. It's like a quick use. Surely. It's so weird. Oh well. I can't imagine us having to go here every single time. Have a meat skewer. Can't we just do a bunch of them? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to look this up after. Just try to roast an apple. <laughs> Simmered fruit. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. So I think the apple before, if I'm not mistaken, only gave us half a heart. Yes. And now the simmered fruit, wherever it's gone. Have I gone blind? It's definitely not there, right? <laughs> Might as well do one more. <laughs> oh, when we cook... Hang on, hang on. Wait a second. Oh, no. You know what I've just realised? Oh, it's all here. Cool. That's good. Thank God for that. I thought he was eating it straight after he cooked it. Cool. bothered with them. <laughs> Just get a couple. Right, so where do we need to be? I'm guessing up here. Here's our friend again. Pretty nice view. We'll agree with him. 
There's another person over there. Go on then. Whoa! All right. Revenge. <laughs> In yesterday's vid, I did kill a couple. That's where I got the meat from. Old wooden bow, so we can slit the bow now. <whistles> no, no, wrong, wrong. There we go. Right, so he's off to bed. Right, so I used that earlier to get across to there. That's where I got that chest. That's where I did the tree cutting. Cool, right. He's bloody gone, hasn't he? Right. Let's be quiet. I oh, could have taken that. <laughs> there we go. Some more raw meat. Cool. Just still exploring. A stem bulb, a wild plant with bulging roots, often found in cooler climates. It contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. So we've got a new type of shroom here. A stamella shroom. A nutritious mushroom chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release its stamina restoration properties. All right. Again, it's just so chill and relaxes this game. Some more of these. Get the fireflies? Maybe not. So 
have a look on the map here. Oh, I'm quite far away from both. <laughs> Guessing we need to, yeah, get over there. Going down, cool, right. Ancient Aroana? Aroana? Something like that. A lively fish that hasn't changed much since ancient times. Its nutritious meat can restore a bit of health. It doesn't look like we've got anything else around here. So I'm guessing I should be able to bring this down to me. Oh my god. <laughs> no. So what happens here? Right. So we just lose a few hearts. But I think we're actually where we want to be now. <laughs> Again, as I said earlier, he doesn't have a very long jump. Let's all well use these, what we've just picked up. Anything with a three quarter? Eat three of those. Right, let's go to the other shrine then. Because otherwise I'm just going to be exploring all day long. Some more meat while we're at it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Way off. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit erratic. I must admit. Right. Let's see what we can do here then. I think we've got some enemies over there. So yeah, that's going to the shrine. Keep pressing A by mistake to go back. Guessing we could create some kind of staircase up to this platform here. Let's try that out. I do think that we do, um, actually maybe not, I going to say we might need to make each platform higher but I don't think so. Oh bloody hell Link, <laughs> not again. He has the most pitiful jump of all time, bloody hell. So I need to move that one as close to that platform as possible. I don't think that's done much, though. So. 
Yeah, really hasn't. There we go. Finally! Bet be something good up here now. <laughs> I believe we might have another chest, hopefully. There's the bell again. Got another bow and arrow. Well, multiple arrows. And I guess not too bad. But I would have preferred a chest. So those enemies appear to be spotting me. And that's where we need to be. Not far to travel. Cool. So let's be careful here, because they appear to have lasers. Maybe not. I'm sure this is the music from the last game. I don't want to grab anything, do I? Um, let's go to food. And I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Just wants to say hello. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need some more hearts. Ah. Go then, mate. He's chucking bloody rocks at me. No, stop doing that. Come on, mate. <laughs> Bloody off. What's well, none of me? Ah, he's picked his shield back up. That's cool. He's still going, though. Awesome. Yeah, I'm still getting used to these bloody controls. Ooh, a rusty shield. Alright. I'm guessing that's still going to be slightly better than my wooden shield. Yep, by one, so we might as well carry it. I'm guessing it could be heavier. Oh, 
Oh. This, a rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. All right, take it then. Oh, no, I can't, can I? I need to uh, chuck something away. Um, might as well be one of these tree branches. See you later. Right, let's have a look in here. Hang on. I think I've got another arrow. So I believe we can pick up the arrows that we fired. Old wooden bow. We have one of those. Opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Awesome. Yeah, it's just the button layout on the Switch controller. Obviously, it's kind of back to front compared to the PS5 or well, just any PlayStation controller, really, and the Xbox. I guess I should be able to let go now. Oh, nice. You can actually grab on right before you fall to your death. <laughs> Yep, the Dragon Quest. Choo Choo Jelly. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Good to know. Yeah, they're very similar to the slimes in Dragon Quest, and that's just uh, broke on me. Is that sword? Stone two handed axe. Oh, so this is going to be like a heavy axe. A thick bat cut from a large tree. It's not the sturdiest weapon. But its heavy end does have a bit of power behind it. Yeah, hey, bud. Ah, he's got one. All right. Now he needs to lift it back up. <laughs> thick stick. A thick bat cut from a large tree. Right, we've already read that. Don't think I need another one. In fact, we can shut that away. The stone axe, because these are pretty good. It's a bit windy. Right. I'm really not sure. Without any lily pads, anyway, if I'm going to be able to get across there. Don't think he has the stamina. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have the stamina for that. I'm going to have to work my way round, I believe. Ah, oh, look at this. Ah, we can make a bow. Oh, this is so cool. Right. Awesome. So, so awesome. So I'm guessing we take a couple of logs. Let's attach. So we've got our sails. Um, bit wonky. <laughs> Let's, uh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Oh, 
Oh, it'll only stick to one. I'm guessing we might not need two logs then. Whatever, right let's try it out. This is so cool. Awesome. Really good. I didn't even notice it was there. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to find a way of building up my stamina or making my way round the edge so I could reach this place. But yeah, that's really cool. Again, Nintendo. Always thinking up cool stuff. And this kind of brings the Wind Waker into it. We've already had the Skyward Sword. We're flying through the sky and what have you. Right, finally, we're here at the shrine. <laughs> In Easter Shrine. Cool. Let's do it. Is Raru? Oh. oh, there's the music. It's used in Ocarina of Time to uh, build up the excitement for the chest opening up. Fuse, attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Hang on, so attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. Awesome. Hmm. Mm. Right, so set ability, you can quickly set an ability, so press and hold L. There we go, so this is our ability wheel. So let's pick fuse. Let's just uh, cancel that a quick second. Rusty Claymore, a two-handed sword, not properly cared for. Although it can be used as a weapon, its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last for more than a few strikes. So basically, I'm guessing we're going to enhance this and make it last more than a few strikes. So I need to get rid of something. Let's get rid of one of you. Right, so, let's fuse, I'm guessing, on these boulders. 
So press Y. Oh my god. <laughs> I was thinking it might kind of encase it in stone or something. But no, it's actually just attached a big ass boulder to the end of the blade. <laughs> Boom, look at that. It's going to be a lot of stuff to think of later on in this game. You know, whenever you think you're stuck and you just can't think of what to do next, you're going to have to look around everywhere, see what you can fuse, see what you can move around and what have you. Yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty chaotic later on. Don't think I can uh, smash this door down. <laughs> no. Ah, so I should be able to bring this down to my level. Cool. Alright. That's done nothing. Go over to the other side here. See, you might be able to collapse certain structures to a certain level, and then you might be able to climb up on top of them. Oh, look at this. Is this a bunch of hot peppers? Oh no, fire fruit. Fuse attack power. A fruit that generates heat when struck, cooked correctly. Its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. And there's all this stuff to think about as well. Because we do have a temperature gauge in the lower right under the screen. So we'll pick as many of these up as possible. Attach materials to arrows. Attach materials from your inventory to your arrows. So we press up on the D-pad. Keep ZR. Right, yeah, so the bow drawn on ZR. And then select so three things. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. That's... Oh, that's correct. So I'm guessing we set this stuff light up here. Or is this amber I've attached to this? There we go. Fire fruit. Oh, awesome. So now we've got a fire arrow. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm loving this, folks. Really cool. We need a cool meter. Small key, a key to a door inside a shrine of light. Or a cool counter, I should say, not a cool meter. I mean, the cool meter for this game is already off the charts. <laughs> but yeah, I say cool quite a lot, especially if I'm playing a game I find to be really good or really cool. <laughs> right. I say awesome a lot as well. Cool and awesome. <laughs> Right, so we should be able to open this door now. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. So they can also use the same fuse ability. Oh, bloody hell. Let's just uh, eat something here. So obviously you can't have your axe out. Back, sorry, you sword. 
with your shield, obviously, if it's a big sword like this, like the Claymore. Ah, oh, it takes him so long. Um... up here a second, so I'm safe. Maybe I'm supposed to use my, uh... I'm just gonna do it like this. He's too slow with that claymore. There we go. Not sure if that's how I was meant to do it. Then, why would there be... Ooh, a Captain Construct Eye Horn. This wavy double-edged blade like horn is formidable when it comes to slashing. Attach it to a weapon to increase attack power. Yeah, so why would there be... A little tree up there. A little plant to give you more of those flame arrows. Right. Construct Bow, a bow used by a Captain Construct, though simply built, it is made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows do. It's good to know. Yeah, it just takes him so long to use that clay bow. Right, so that should be the end for this shrine. I think there's one or maybe two more to go. Light of Blessing. Got two of those now. Oh, and it actually refills your hearts. Cool, so we should be back outside now. There we go. So yeah, I think it's just... Ooh, shoe constructs, all right. What is that? They've got, like, their own little personal drawer. <laughs> Energy cell, a gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. Okay. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. Alright, so I think that's going to be the next place I'm going to venture to.
Cool. Cheers for that, mate. Right, I'm going to end that there, folks. That is going to be the end of part two. I hope that you enjoy this vid. And then in the next video, we're going to take on the other shrine. There might be one more after that, and then we can go to the Temple of Time. So, yeah, really enjoying this. And I'm loving the crafting and construction mechanics in this game, especially when we had to make that boat just a little while back to get across that a little bit of water. It wasn't really a river, was it? But yeah, pretty damn cool. Really enjoying it. And now we've got the new fuse ability, so we can fuse stuff to our weapons to make them stronger. And I guess we can fuse items to our shield as well. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it at the moment. Really, really good. So yeah, if you enjoyed this vid, please drop a like. That would be most appreciated. And if you have not subbed to the channel already, please hit that subscribe button, and that will also be most appreciated. Until next time, this is your boy, Pixel Machine, along with Link. Signing out. Have a good one, folks. Peace.